Hello again folks, um, we're going to be doing some more potato plant today. Okay, um, so what we'll be doing, is we'll be planting the sarpo mirrors and sarpo exona. Okay, as you can see I've already done some rotivating this morning, I'll just show you quickly. Okay, so I've done all this over, just over here. So there'll be four rows in here, and then hopefully I'll get four more row in there, so what I'm going to do now, okay, I'm going to put some, put some of this on, okay, and then we'll uh, start planting. I've got the seed potatoes over here, okay, it's uh, been a bit of a change again, so I thought I'll plant the rest of the potatoes now, so instead of putting it, I'm going to put the rest of the vegetables in over there, sort of over, that bit over there, so, but what we'll do, we'll skip, skip putting this on, okay. As you can see, it's, uh, it's 19 inches long, okay, exactly cut, so what we'll do now, we'll start planting, and that, it's uh, been a bit of a strange week this week so far, so many things have happened, but I thought I'd decide, you know, I'm sort of eating completely now, so I'll start here, Clear enough sort of view. Thank you. 
Probably got a half for the second row, half the width. So, because there's, you know, there's more seed, much smaller. So, I'll ridge this one, ridge this one up, and then we'll we'll start on the on the other one. Nice day, really. So, carry on. Potato planting, so got a bit of a cold, really. So. Good afternoon folks, just a sort of a bit of a brief update really on what we've been doing today. Okay, um, what we've basically done is today, is we've um, planted four rows, okay, today, we've planted the Sarpo mirror and the Sarpo zona, okay. So, what we're all going to put in here, what's in this bit here, we're going to put, um, Saxon and Romano. That will be all the containers that we planted this year, okay? There, we will put other little vegetables, other little bits of pink. Yeah. We'll put these little bits through there, okay? We'll just put one more row in and that will be done, okay? We'll put the manito in there, okay? over there, okay, it'll mainly just be, um, I'll basically just hit down with the cultivator, I'm just going to quickly just make sure that the camera's set, because I don't look like she's sort of set very level, so, but as I was saying, basically, it's still not really set really, So what I was basically saying is, okay, we'll put other vegetables over there, okay. Um, so that's, that's rotated really nice. So I sort of done it yesterday, really, sort of most of it. Um, but as I said, you know, that's leaving Mark down. It's just a little path down, just down in here. Um, matter of fact, I looked at those potatoes that we put in over there. 
the other day, or last Wednesday as a matter of fact, and they've got a little root sign just like that. So I was just been, I was only been a matter of what, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, basically about a week. And there's already significant growth. So I'm really sort of pleased that that's happened. So that soil must be a lot warmer than this lot over here. Because the um, Red Duke York and the Kestrel is a slower sort of growth rate, as well as um, the Ramos, the Four Little Trials, and the Marquis, where the Paramount have got roots on there basically like that. So, in general, the bigger seed is a lot better, but that seed was a lot smaller. But see, the thing is. Because the seed had been left for a long time and it started to go crinkly, okay, it had, um, you know, it was, as soon as it was put in the ground, it was ready to grow. So that's what's basically happened. Because it's been left for so long, it's got crinkly, so it's basically, as soon as it's ready, it's just ready just to grow just like that. So that's what's basically happened. Um, so the same for the Paramount seed as well. Um, I'm not going to put fertiliser on this next four rows, okay, because I want to do a trial. I've done this lot over here, the first six rows will be planted without it, okay. This lot has had fertiliser, that lot has had general multi-purpose fertiliser as long as, along with blood fish and bone. Um, so, it's just basically a trial period to see what we do to get the best yields. Um, probably tomorrow I'm going to carry on from up near the greenhouse where we start clearing. Clear all this in here if you can sort of see, okay? Sort of all this in here. Sorry I don't say too well, I've got a poxy cold so... But hopefully we're going to clear this tomorrow. Okay. Um, but how I see it, you know, if you've got a cold and you're outside, it helps get rid of it a lot better and a lot quicker. So, if you, uh, I'm just going to show you the seed that we've got, basically. Okay. I'll just have a quick look. You can sort of see. size seed that we've got and it, if you look it's a nice it's of a, it's of a nice quality so if you look, so you've just got that you know so hopefully come next Wednesday these might have little roots on you know so it just shows that within a week basically you know it's got it's already growing nicely I mean here, um, the Paramount, the Romano, if you look, no, that's, that's a nice quality as well, um, the Saxon, that's a nice sort of firm, sort of a, you know, a nice firm sort of shape, texture, as you can see there again, you know, so, you know, hopefully, See, because the ones that I've planted today, they're all going to be main crop. Even though, Kestrel, okay, and, um, even though Kestrel and Saxon are a second early, okay, but because Which, they're sort of a large, they're a large crop and potato, sort of, you know, so we want to leave them as late as possible to get bigger potatoes, okay, so... We've done the four rows, if you can see here, I'll just show you quickly. We've done the four rows in there, okay? So, if you just zoom in a bit, okay? You know, you can basically see what we've done, okay? Um, what I'm probably going to do is take a few pictures of the whole plot, make a little collage. So, I, do, I like doing collage sort of stuff. 
but this is basically what we've done today. I'm going to just, over there if you can see, okay, I've leveled that out over there. So what we'll do, we'll renovate that soon, get it all marked out for tomorrow, and then we'll put another four row in. As you can see, my little, little cat Merlin, little boy bless him. He's a black tabby, but he's a good, good little old thing, really. Just hope the little blighted on gone crap in my garden. So I can't stand cat shit. But that's basically, you know, just sort of, um, basically just sort of just what we've sort of done really today. So I thought I'd just sort of do a, a bit of a update. I know. It's all changed again from what you've probably heard when if you've watched the Rotovaton video yet. I've done this for the carrots, but it's just had a massive we had a massive rethink. I didn't want to go and chuck away all that seed. Um, you know, so I thought bugger, I'm just gonna plant it and hope we get the best. So hopefully at tomorrow we'll be doing this once we get this lot done. You know, once we get this done over here, once we get the plantman done, then we'll focus on hopefully next week over there. Okay? So, because what we're going to do, we're going to put some mixed flower seed in there. Um, I had a bit of a dig around the other day, and there's, you know, more movement in the potatoes. So, you know, so hopefully, okay, that shouldn't. Uh, Shouldn't be much of a problem, really. So, I see, uh, I must admit, Dan, your onion sets, wherever you've got them from, look the, perf the most perfect quality. They look a decent size and looks, you know, look like they could produce quite a large sort of bowl. I must admit, your video looks pretty good and that looks a good way of doing them. Your onions. Um, I see Chris on the allotment journal. He's planted two pots of potatoes already. So spring is finally here, and everyone's getting underway, which is a good sign. Um, the daffodils out the front, and they're getting the little yellow flower heads open. So hopefully there'll be some nice colours there. I know the tulips aren't having this yet. Um, but now, really, this, that's, you know, the soil texture, if you can tell you what we'll do, we'll just quickly zoom in. It's only a, only a brief video, folks. And then we'll have a bit of a general catch-up and a waffle tomorrow, once we get sort of done planting. And if you look at it, you know, it's all finally sort of mashed up. You know, really sort of well. Which, up in this area here, okay, it's, it's actually really sort of fine and powdery if you take a quick look over there sorry about the stick being in the way okay but if you take a quick look over there just down just sort of down in that area there you can basically see the texture of it and up there okay sort of in basically that area there it is a bit clay so but as a uh, Dan done a video a couple of weeks ago about getting his soil properly sort of prepared for sowing stuff in and he has to dig his he reckons because it's just heavy clay. It's not if you constantly work the soil you'll easily break that clay down basically, okay? You'll easily break it down and you will basically, once if you keep break working it, working it you'll eventually break that clay down and it'll be no more but if you add compost to it or organic matter that will help break the heavier soil down but the best thing to do is or what I do is in general is um, get like summer you've got a biggish bit clear just fork it loads and loads of times as deep as you can go if you've got a rotavator rotavator constantly keep digging it I know you just take you know and then leave it, and then if you want to dig over winter, then dig over winter. But I say you'll break, I say you'll break your clay soils down. 
but that's basically about it for today folks so we'll catch up tomorrow and we'll have more of a general sort of waffle about you know how the how it's progressed over the last week and basically what else is going you know to sort of be coming along so see you later folks have a great evening